everyone, how's it going? It's That Nerd Ryan here, and today we're talking about Way of the House Husband. Um, so this was an anime that was recommended to me by my friend, um, who recommended JoJo's to me and Zom 100. Uh, so thank you to that friend. I know he likes to remain anonymous, but yeah. So this one um, is a just season one review, by the way. We'll do season two in a couple weeks. But, um, yeah, this was a very funny show. So for those of you who don't know, the plot's kind of just simple, which is perfect um, to explain. Basically what happened is an ex-Yakuza um, met a woman, married her, and decided to leave the Yakuza to become a house husband. So he basically is living his life doing like chores cooking stuff like that all simple stuff but he's taking it to the next level basically treating it as his yakuza job um he's also well known he's called the immortal dragon his name's tasu by the way sorry he's called the immortal dragon um by his reputation and basically any criminal recognizes him and fears him so what i like to call this is basically John Wick if his wife didn't die. That's basically what the story is. Um, so he um, like we get to see him making stuff. He takes on a other ex-Yakuza kind of as an apprentice who had one of my favorite lines which we'll get to in a little bit. But um, yeah, it just he really takes being a husband seriously and he also gets to hang out with other housewives um, and like kind of do housewivey things with them, which I find is very funny. His wife is a, um, they don't really explain what her job is, but she's also a big like anime nerd, uh, just a nerd in general. So he always makes her happy getting her anime stuff and stuff like that and just making sure that her life is perfect. Um, this is not like an action show, it's very comedy, and in all honesty, each actual episode is about three minutes. Uh, they're clumped in like five or five to eight episodes, an actual episode, um, and it's just all little like average everyday scenarios that Tasu kind of either blows out of proportion or does in a very strange way. Um, so the it's really hard to talk about like the story because it's really anthology and a lot happens because it is three minute episodes and each episode is fairly different. I think a highlight for me though was the two volleyball episodes. His uh, housewife team uh, was just playing and then this other team showed up to want to play them and they ended up beating them and then he runs into the, them again on a beach day and him and his wife beat them together. Um, it was two different episodes. I thought that was a highlight. Another actual character is their cat, who has, like, one episode every now and then of it just being a cat and doing cat things with voiceover. Um, but, yeah, it's it's enjoyable. The, um, two other things I want to talk about. The one line that made me laugh, like, really hard was when his apprentice came over and he goes, I just got fired, so now I'm blowing off time, or something like that. <laughs> it's like, talking like he's getting bra bragging about getting fired. Um, and then the other thing is, the animation style in this, I am very mixed about. So, it is basically a straight-up adaptation of the manga. As in every frame, there's little to no movement, um, basically to fit, like, if you're looking at a manga panel. I think that's a really cool art choice, but also in going and looking at like Zom 100, Dragon Ball Z, uh, JoJo's stuff that has movement constantly, it does get a little jarring that it's just like you'll have a full conversation and he's just standing intimidatingly like that. And like, I mean, yes, you get that in JoJo's a lot. You get like stances in anime in general, but I'm saying like. He'd be like, yes, you cut the, and like, uh, you cut the carrot super thin and do this and that. And you see it all, you hear it all, but you don't see it all. 
uh, which is very strange, in my opinion. Um, and then the other, one other part, because like I said, it's really hard to cover everything. I think his father-in-law is probably one of my favorite characters just because of how, like, intimidated he is of Tasu, but Tasu holds him in so much respect. And, uh, the fact, like, I think that one of the funniest ones was they came over, his, uh, in-laws came over to make a hot pot. And the fact that, like, his wife and his father-in-law are very chaotic cookers is the funniest part because they're, like, chopping and she's like and the dad comes over with the knife he's like oh my god that form it's so scary <laughs> like freaking out and then you find out that uh his mother-in-law is just like him when it comes to like cooking and stuff which is hilarious but yeah so i'm gonna give season one of way of the house husband a seven out of ten i thought it was funny i thought it was great animation style was a little weird and just a lot happens to keep track of but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And follow me on all my social media down below. It's That Nerd Ryan, signing off.